We are officially it's in It's time for Danish. Denmark. Danish Walbert. Danish. Get them now. Danish. 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 No one cares. This is my time. That's no, fine. Okay, so we are in Denmark. And we have wall beds. Danish, get them 20% off at Grace Business. I don't know how they work. No Grace Business. No, you just this. push them down, Mom. More like 20% nothing. Or you could just get it out. Mom, I think we just push uh, would you, We don't need them down yet. Oh, no, 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 Where are we? Denmark right now. And a sausage can always save the day. Sean, that is so cringy. Well, bread is literally a hole. Do like, not let Sean talk, he is very cringy. Mm, this was um, Aarhus and our first night in Denmark. Yes. Well, as you see, Grace, Sean, and Harry got sausages while me and Joe looked for something else. We um, can't remember what I, we ended up getting. Mm. Anyway, there's this big building that looks like a prison. Yeah, right there. It had some Lego models inside it that we are about to show you. This was the uh, Christmas window display that they had in front of the in the present shop that I was talking to you, telling you about. It had like these different Lego stream things on the ground. What do you think, Harry? Um, they it was a city above. Reminds me a bit of the world explorer that we were going to see the next day. Look what they made out of Lego. Grace. Um, um, look what they made out of Lego. Oh, Jacey's been on that. Guys, there's like more than one Santa here. Yeah, no, there's a Overall, really enjoyed our horse. But what was really exciting was what was going to happen the next day. The Lego House! This is the birthplace of Lego, which was the place where Lego was first made. The town's called Billund, and as you can see, it was a pretty cold day. This is the awesomest place on earth. It's a big deal in Denmark. Billund is a small town, and it's only really famous because of Lego. That's the reason we were there. These were the terraces that were playgrounds on top of the Lego house. They, um, most of them were accessible from the stairs themselves and you didn't actually have to pay to go on them. However, some of them were only accessible from the inside. So, unfortunately, I didn't actually get to go control them because there wasn't really enough time. It was, the Lego house was only open from 10 to, to 4 especially since I went on a tour, which took about an hour. That is old Kurt Christian, the founder of the company. This is, uh, I can't remember their names. That's his son, isn't it? Yeah, that guy, this is Daniel's son, and this is his son. They are good. Excuse me, sir. Inside the Lego house there are four different zones. The green zone, red zone, blue zone, yellow zone. The yellow zone was all about so social skills. So that so it was about so it had a lot of things that you would usually do with other people. So this is my thing. It's made to um, scratch your dad's bald head when um, when he d wants to scratch his head because he can't scratch it himself because he's lazy. So this is what you do. Here, I need a demonstration. So see, this is our example, bald head. Um, so basically you put it here. Well, you're supposed to hold it, but it's kind of hard when I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah you do that. <laughs> you're supposed to put it here and then spin it around and it scratches its mm. head. And, See, what's your um, rating? Out of well, it's promoting hair growth. 
and um, general relaxation and again hopefully hair growth because I'm really lacking up there. I'm hopeful. <laughs> The red zone was about creativity, so it had most of it was most of the red zone was just bricks you could build whatever you want. Okay. Here we are in my one of my favorite zones of the Lego house, the red zone. I have built a train, which I'll probably show a picture right now. Well, we can go film it. You walk down and show us. I'm thinking after this we should go to the green section because that was also really cool. Joe, show us what you made. Well done, Joe. <laughs> I built a way more epic train than you. Very nice. Now you know what? Spoke's a nice touch. I want to go back to the green zone right now. The um. The green zone was mostly was about um, storytelling. Um, this is a mini figure I made about myself from the mini figure creator that they had. You could also do stop motion videos, and if you want to see those, my mum will upload them separately later. The blue zone was a very sciencey programming thing. That a test driver where you made your own car and tested out its aerodynamics and all that stuff. They had the city architect where you built your own mini buildings. And they also had um, the uh, Robo Lab where you tried to save some lost Arctic people with robots. Besides that, there was the gallery and the um, history collection. The gallery is the white brick on top of the Lego house and it's full of models that different Lego fans have made over the years. The history collection is in the basement of the Lego house and is is basically a thing telling you the history of Lego and the sets it's released all over the years. Yeah. So over here there's what oh my gosh. Can I have this? Oh half of it's deeper, the other half is the last thing I want to talk about is the World Explorer, which was my favourite area. You were able to look at three different settings. The Paradise, which we're looking at right now. As you can see, it has like a theme park. Over here was uh, the city, which had a whole bunch of scenarios playing out. And which was overall pretty cool. Just, you were meant to find Santa's lost reindeer. Can't find him. And over here is the town, they call it. But it looks more like countryside. Anyway, it's basically a giant mountain on top of the hill. It was just amazing and hard to take all of it in. I really enjoyed looking at all of this. Overall, I really loved the Lego house. Like, it was really, really good. And I honestly just, like, really enjoyed it. And if, over if you're watching this... I'd love to go there with you one day. I love the Lego house. I'm going to a forest that has deers, and I'm not sure, but they might have reindeers for Christmas too. And we're going. We're at the bus stop right now, waiting for a bus. Why are you sad? Lego house. Why? Because we left the Lego house, and now. Why are you sad? <laughs> are you sad or happy? Happy now. I used to be sad. Why were you sad before? Because I didn't want to go anywhere. Before that, I wanted to go Lego Land again. I mean Lego House. 